All right, so now we have the eyebrows established. We're gonna work a little bit more on the eyes themselves as well as some of the other features. So I'm looking for shadow shapes, you guys. And I'm looking closely at my reference picture or at my model. And remember, this person has a scrunched up face, like they're crying. So I have to remind myself that too. And you can see I'm going really light. I also want you to notice how far back I'm holding my pencil. And I am shading kind of back and forth, but I'm careful not to leave gaps in my shading. You can see the picture to the left, and I'm looking for any shadow area, and I'm lightly filling in all those shadow shapes. So really, you should first identify where the light's coming from. On this picture, the, the light's coming from the left side, and the right side is just a little bit in shadow. So there's some shading on the nose. That whole kind of right side of the nose, the right of the ball of the nose, is in shadow. And just think to yourself, whatever is recessed, sinking in, tends to get some shadow areas. And whatever is poking out, like the nose, catches the light. And right now, I'm not like obsessed about making it a perfect likeness. I'm going to work on that as I go. What I care most about from you is that the proportions are accurate. So when I'm doing this shading, I usually kind of go at an angle. So my strokes are going at a diagonal kind of hatch except for the, it's a tight hatch. You can't see the gaps in between. You also have to be careful if you're doing a crease. So he does have some creases around his mouth, like kind of towards the nose. I have to be careful about that. So I'm also gonna go to the hair in a moment and we're gonna articulate where the hair is gonna be. Because you may be working off the same model. You may be working with a girl who has like a ponytail or a bun on top of the head or hair down. Like, I don't know. So you're going to have to work a little bit with the shape of the head. And I always do this lightly. I'm trying to get, first of all, the gesture of the head. Oh, dear. He looks bald right now. But that's okay. I'm going to work on it. Um, it is important to pay attention to the direction that the hairs are going because they change directions, especially if a person has combed their hair with their hand. And I'm just leaving it as suggested right now. I'm not going to fully shade it. I'm just getting the suggestion of the hair so I know where that's going to go. And now I'm going to work a little okay, bit so on the So now we're eyes. working in greater detail on the eyes. And so I'm starting out by outlining that top lid right where the eyelashes go. So this may be a little bit hard to see, but I'm suggesting the pupil in there without actually outlining hard with um, my pencil. So I'm not outlining the actual iris, the color part. I'm just suggesting it. And on this picture, the white of the eyes aren't white. They're actually gray or darker than gray because they're in shadow. And that's not every place because obviously um, on that right eye, you're getting a little bit of light. But in some places, the eye is in shadow. It's gray. But I'm leaving the place where the high, for the highlight, that sparkle within the eye, I'm trying to leave that blank and I'll clean it up with the eraser before I put down white. So just for now, we really don't need white pencil at all. Because we're going to save the white pencil for later. So I'm looking at this in terms of shadow shape. And his mouth is kind of scrunched up because he's upset. I think that's interesting. It's making it more of a challenge. And now I'm going into the right side of the face because there's a form shadow. 
And just to remind you, form shadows are gradual soft shadows. So they slowly turn away from the light and progressively get darker the farther away from the light they get. So I'm trying to put in a form shadow there. And it looks like I may have to bring in the jawline a little bit. The width of the face is looking a little too wide, but that's okay, I'll fix it. You can see I'm going back and forth, shading there, and then I'm gonna fill in the gaps because I don't want it to look too rough. I wanna smooth that in, and I'm going light there. I'm actually going much lighter than I think I'll need to go in case I need to move something. And it's always good to start off lighter than you think because it's way easier fixing something if it's light than if it's already dark and set in stone, kind of. Important that you compare the shadow shapes in your picture. Like there's a little shadow underneath that bottom lip there. So if you have time, this is what I want you to do. Work on those shadow areas. You can even do it in the hair because there should be some shadows there as well. And on the face, on the neck, anywhere you see a shadow, get that shadow shape in there, but do it a lot lighter than you think it'll need to go. And then I want you to submit for a final time.